Hello, this is a quick review of the Corab KKG305D power supply. Um, this is my first review, so let's see how it turns out. Okay, so here's the power supply. Uh, there's also a 305P version that has uh, USB and serial ports. I don't need these, so I bought the cheaper version. So let's open it up first, you, so you can see what's inside of it. Okay, so that's how it looks inside of it. I have already replaced the fan because the original one made some weird ticking noise. So now, now it's completely silent. Okay, I will remove the main board so you can look what's going on on there. So this model has the solid state relays, so it doesn't make any annoying clicking sound when you adjust the voltage. I won't go too deeply to electronics because I'm not so experienced, but this is how it looks like. I may change the cheap capacitors someday. I don't really trust those Chinese capacitors. I think this model has much better cooling solution than the older Corats had. Older models had this solid plate, cooling plate in front of fan, so it restricted the airflow. Uh, this one has more traditional cooling, as you can see. There's nothing restricting the airflow, so the fan will blow through the fins. And because it doesn't have the plate in front of the fan, it pulls the air through those components. So the shunt resistor doesn't get hot and the capacitors. So I really like this cooling design. 
So of course, because this is a linear power supply, it has a, a big transformer in it. Uh, there's the connector on the back. It has sense wires, a remote on ground, 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 a voltage and current adjustment, and the output trigger. I will not remove the front board because I think there's nothing to see. So I will put this back together and let's see how it works. Okay, so now we're back and let's see how it looks like when it's on. So this model has three displays, voltage, current and wattage. It has five memory slots over current over voltage. So this model has two buttons under the encoder, a voltage and current. If I want to adjust the voltage, I will press the voltage. current. One thing I don't like is it automatically saves the settings to the current memory slot. So I have saved my uh, most used settings to those four and the first is what I use when I need some random voltage. So, yeah. Okay, let's look the settings menu. So, long press on the set button. First is the auto. I don't know why they call it auto setting. But what it does is, when, you go, when we go back and we turn the output on, now, now we can adjust that. It doesn't lock out the encoder. But if we change the auto setting off and save now it's it's locked and you have to press the button to adjust that personally i like it more this way so i i want to accidentally adjust the voltage so let's get back to the menu so next is the sense, of course, this is the external sense circuit. I have it off. So next, we have the trigger out. This means you can trigger the output on and off from the back side if we, if you are if you have external switch for it. Okay. Now next is. Beep, <laughs> of course. So I don't like it. It sounds weird. It's like it's it's little too high pitched for me. I don't know. Maybe if you have the auto settings on, so you hear when you accidentally adjust the voltage. I don't know. I don't like it. So let's turn it off. 
of yes. Uh, okay. So. Okay, this is the setting for the output. If you have it on, it will remember your current state when you power it off. So let's see. Now let's turn the output on, power it off. Now when we turn it on, now we have the output on. But this is not good. You don't want that. So let's turn off. Okay, so that was the menu. Press the lock button. So it locks out the One thing I really like is the display of this. The older and cheaper models had text printed on the screen and small LEDs. So when when you change the memory slot, there will, will be LED indicating that or output on and off. This one have text on the screen, so it's much better. Turn the output on. It shows 2.4 watts. Okay, one thing I like also is that this model has milliamps. Three ports. This is getting really hot. Ow. Okay. Now, if you change the memory slot, it will turn the output off, which is good. So you don't accidentally fry anything. Okay, so the biggest downside of this is the memory slots, because it automatically over Right, the current settings you have. Yeah, I have five volts over there. If I adjust that, okay. Now, if I go there, and if I go back to five, it saved that. So I don't like that. It's the biggest downside for me. But I can't think any more negative sides of this. Okay. I think that's about it. I hope you liked the review. Give the thumbs up 
and bye.